What's up, everyone? This is your girl, Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and it's time for another Colorful versus Beauty. So today we got the Into the Dark palette from Glaminatrix Cosmetics alongside the Mothership 3 Subversive, I believe it's called. Yes, a Subversive palette. So I'm going to put these two side by side and then we'll see which one is more colorful. I feel like just from the inside, you know the Glaminatrix one is. I feel like the Glaminatrix one is a fun twist on the Mothership 3 Subversive palette. So this is what it looks like and then I'll show you Mothers alongside of it. But to me, this definitely gives more fun vibes to Pat McGrath's palette. And you do get, I believe, two more shades in this one than you do in this one. I'm pretty sure this is 12 and we know Mother's standard 10. But this is what both of them look like side by side. So as you can see, you get the fun pop of green. You get the fun pop of pink. So I'm feeling like it's just going to give us a more fun version of Pat McGrath's palette. And if you wanted a funner version of this palette, then this would definitely be the palette for you. But I'm going to go off camera real quick. And get my life in order. Are y'all feeling the cute little sunset blush moment? I tried to get in on the train and do a sunset blush with the new NYX blushes. I think it looks cute. Then I just tried this new shade with them. Because I had four of them. I did a wear test on them already. You should see that video long before you see this one. But I just thought it looked cute and wanted to get in on the trend. So I did. So I'm going to do the Glaminatrix palette off camera. Oh, the glosses. She's got money from... Um, their bling collection that they came out with for i think butter gloss is being like 20 years old or something like that which is crazy to me but you know that's what we're working with on the face i am trying out the new makeup by mario um sculpting bronzing serum as well while i wait on the same one to drop and then i'm excuse me be comparing both of those i don't know why i'm telling you about all this old stuff but by the time you see this it should be like august and it's only like may now but do me in real quick and cute like and i will go off camera and get the glaminatrix eye done and then we'll come back and do mother's eye together be right okay y'all so this is the eye with the into the night palette now let's get this pat mcgrath's palette so here are the swatches i did glaminatrix mother glaminatrix mother glaminatrix mother glaminatrix mother so that's what we work on when it comes to those so let me show you the shades I used in that we're gonna use in Pat McGrath's palette. So I'm gonna use, of course, this is the darkest shade I have, so I have to use that. This is the darkest shade I have, so I have to use that. Then I use this as the lid shade, and this is gonna be our inner corner shade because that's her um, light pink. So I'm gonna take all my refer brushes. We're gonna start off with the um, the O3, the B03. So this is a beta like tested brush. It has synthetic and natural hairs combined in it, so I'm like, okay. Black. Okay. Blends out a lot nicely. Yeah, so. Did y'all see the video of Diddy beating, like, his girlfriend? Cause they finally let the video go of him and Cassie. Like I told y'all, we're gonna be talking about super old stuff in here and y'all gonna be like, girl, that, that happened a million years ago, but you know. I'm still just over here like, wow, he really beat the crap out of this girl. Cause they said there was a videotape of this a while ago, but they said he had like paid them off. So I guess like they kept the original copy and then when the police came or whoever came to pick it up, that's when they like got released. I don't know, but I'm just like, ooh, honey. Yeah, he going to jail. Y'all, he going to jail. So now we're going to take the brown shade. We just use that everywhere else. So, Okay, so so far so good. Of course, they don't look exactly the same because the colors are darker, but I just want y'all to see how 
the contrast was between the two palettes, so I didn't expect them to look the same at all. You're that why. I'm like, I see the Cat Williams mint, y'all. He said, everybody's going to be exposed this year. I'm just like, whoop. And it sure looking like it, because now they're saying Beyonce about to leave Jay-Z, too. And I'm just like, ooh, honey. Just a whole lot of years. So, I'm, I've been hearing things about T.I., too. I don't know. Have y'all ever heard any stuff about, like, T.I. coming out of whatever? It'd be funny to just go up in August and then and call him, too. Like, ciao. Yeah, but I've been hearing stuff about him, too. So, I'm just like. Okay, I heard stuff about 50 Cent, why he be trying to talk about Diddy so hard. But my whole thing is, like, is he trying to deflect from himself by constantly talking about the Diddy thing? Or, like, what? That's why I'm confused when it comes to him. It's like, I know you don't like dude or whatever, but, like, you know. They say he think because he a bully that he um, going to get away. And people going to be afraid to talk about him. But it's like, I feel like Diddy had more pull than you do and he coming down. So it's like, if he coming down, what makes you ain't going to come down, you know? I don't know. But I'm just over here like, hmm. And not to be bogus, but I've never been a 50 Cent like fan. He always just kind of seemed like a jerk. And then like him constantly talking about Diddy and everybody else and JD or whatever, just kind of, you know. I mean, he seems like a more real down to earth and a little bit nicer person than the other people, but I'm like, at the same time, like, he still always, I don't know, he just rubbed me the wrong way and kind of seemed like a jerk. So. So, I don't know. But it'd be funny if he went down too while he'd been talking a lot of crap about um, Diddy. I mean, I'm not excited about any of this happening, but at the same time, I'm like, if you... My whole thing always is, like, what you do comes back to you. And if you put this type of stuff out into the world, like, you shouldn't expect to just live happily ever, ever, ever after, forever. And I heard the Garden of Time thing from the Met Gala for all those rich people was, like, kind of a similar story. It was, like, they, according to the story I heard, it's supposed to be, like, this, these two, um, royals that live in this house. And they were supposed to, um, every time they picked a flower, like, they were supposed to push the mob away. So the mob was coming, it's just they kept picking flowers, trying to bide their time, essentially. So when the mob finally came and, like, dethroned them or whatever. So I'm like, I'm like, yeah, it kind of rings true to what Cat Williams is saying, like, about them trying to hold back time, trying to hold back their time, getting away, especially Diddy, y'all, because, like, he just the next one that's lined up they had. We'll just hold Bill Cosby up first, and they decide they were going to finally get in on R. Kelly, and now they like, it's Diddy's turn. And I heard he's trying to, like, get rid of other people. Well, not get rid of, like, tell other people's business and, and catch other people up in situations to kind of distract from what's going on with him. And I'm like, dude, that's not going to work. They got video camera, They got videos of you out here beating people up and all this other stuff. So it's like, it's, yeah, that's it's not going away, sir. Sir, it's not going away. They have honed in on you and it's a wrap. So you you could try to, you know, think you finna escape. It's it's not happening. Like, you know. I'm expecting by the time this video goes up for him to have like at least started his court proceedings. So maybe going to jail, child, I don't know. But yeah, these are both for finished eyes. So comment down below and tell me which one you think is, you know, the more colorful one. I definitely feel like the one with the sunset blush, the um Laminatrix side is the more colorful side because you know mother don't really do that much color We get that one colorful palette for her that I'm super excited to have That's the holiday one that she came out with in 2023 so I'm excited to have it. I have it. I know a lot of people wasn't that crazy about it But I love it because mother finally gave some color like we yeah, so I wish she would do a blue green purple palette But it's like since she's not in charge of the color, you know, not really in charge and it's just kind of her name on it now Like I'm not expecting to get that I'm expecting to get more boring pinks And I feel like that's why people have started shying away from it because if you notice like her blush drop release Nobody I have seen no one that I normally watch talk about it. I plan on picking it up eventually, but it's like I'm not in a rush to do it just because It's just not anything exciting. So I'm hoping you know they can get mother back on the right track and get people excited about it instead of trying to Make her be like the black Charlotte Tilbury with all these damn pink shades. I don't know, but I'm not feeling it. Anyway, I think we got a good colorful muted out of this situation because I feel like this is getting more metallic and you got the deeper like pink shade and the navy blue, whereas Mother gave the traditional black and the um, brown 
or whatnot. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the dimes. Make sure you subscribe. My membership is down below. I'm thinking about starting a playlist of these. So there might be a playlist of all these colorful versus muted. Because there is quite a few. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.